Uh, I'm Brandon Gallagher Watson. I'm the communication director for Rainbow Tree Care Scientific Advancements. And today we're talking about Dutch elm disease. And basically, we have our little mock up stump here to kind of show how we do the treatments for Dutch elm disease. So, to prevent trees from getting Dutch elm disease, what we do is we actually inject them with a fungicide once every three years that then protects the entire tree from getting the disease to begin with. The uh, disease of Dutch elm disease is flown around by little beetles, and those beetles go up into the canopy of the tree and they nuzzle or they nibble on the little branches way up in the canopy and then from there they introduce the fungus into the tree the fungus grows down the tree into the root system and kills the whole tree so usually the first symptoms you see of a tree that gets Dutch elm disease is just flagging basically it's like a branch starts getting yellow up in the canopy so what's really happening is basically the tree is sort of dying of drought up in the canopy as the fungus is gumming up its vascular tissue and preventing water from getting up there so to protect the tree what we do is we inject it with this fungicide that moves all the way up into the branches of the tree, all the way up into those little tiny tips. So when a beetle comes and bites onto the tree, it doesn't transfer the fungus into the tree, and it doesn't get established, and thus the tree doesn't get the disease. So it is a disease that's best managed preventatively. We do have a few diseases in trees that we can actually go in and treat a tree once it gets it. Dutch elm disease can be managed after the tree gets it, but it's a heck of a lot harder and a heck of a lot more expensive, and the success rate goes down quite a bit. So we definitely recommend if people are, you know, have a valuable tree and they're looking to protect it, you definitely have to do it before the tree gets the disease. So if you have it in your neighborhood, or if you, you know, if your your neighbor's tree gets it, getting your tree protected right away to make sure your tree doesn't get it is definitely key to uh, to properly managing it. Basically what they do is um, a tree care company would come out to your property, they'd take a shovel and they'd excavate a little bit of the soil around the base of the tree. These kind of prominent sections coming out at the base of a tree are called root flares. And what we do is we, on this model obviously we're not below the soil line because it would be a little tough on this model, but what the tree care company would actually do is come by and dig out about maybe six to eight inches underneath the soil surface. Then they go through with a, just a regular electric drill and they drill holes in the tree and then they insert these um, tubes into it with these T's and then using a reservoir which is usually something like a large trash can or a anything that's a large um, water container. They actually physically pump the solution from the container through the tubing and tees and into the tree. So if this were a full-size tree, this would probably be about a 30-inch diameter tree or so. A tree of this size would take between 30 and 40 gallons of solution. So it's quite a bit of a volume of product that we're putting into the tree, but even at that high volume, you should be looking at about an hour's worth of time for it actually to get into the tree. And from that point, it's then protected for three years. So say we did it this year in 2010, we'd come back in 2013 to do a treatment again. And it is a problem where you, you can't just treat it once and think your tree's good. So if you have a high value elm tree and you know it really defines your yard, it's something you're looking to protect, it would be a commitment to every three years having to go through and retreat the tree to make sure it stays protected. This actually here is the actual pump. So we offer a couple of different kinds of pumps, and actually we as Rainbow Tree Care are also the manufacturers of this stuff too. So we not only sell the products to tree care companies, but we sell the application equipment as well. So like I was saying before, basically you'd have a large water reservoir. These tubes would go down into the reservoir, and then the, uh, the barb system here actually hooks up to the tubes, and then that's from, from there is where it pumps the solution from the reservoir into the tree. So there's a couple of different versions you can do. This one actually would hook up to like a car battery, so that way if you were like on a golf course or a situation where you didn't readily have an extension cord, you could actually just hook it right up to a battery source. We do also sell a version that has a... Um, uh, plug it on it so if you were like at a residential house you could easily just plug it right into an extension cord and do the treatment from there. And if you drive around Minneapolis and you know the surrounding communities, one of the reasons we have as many mature elms left 30 years after the disease got here is the fact that this company's been out there actually doing the treatments for it. So you go to a city like Chicago even it has half as many elms as we have here in Minneapolis because basically when it hit all the really big famous trees got killed and now there's smaller ones that have been able to survive. But here in Minneapolis, um, especially in some of the um, communities around the lake area, Lake of the Isles, Linden Hills, these areas have tremendous elm trees left. And pretty much all the ones that are left have been treated with this product for the last 30 years or so.